Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is responsible for whipping into shape some of the biggest music artists of our time with her amazing choreography and vision. Her new docuseries, Beyond the Spotlight, Beyond the Spotlight recently premiered on Lifetime. Let's take a look. Whether you like me, when I leave here, I really don't care. I need Fantasia to be where she knows she deserves to be. Because people are buying a ticket to see her, to hear her, and experience her. And what helps you experience her is energy on stage. Like when I... Mm. I know that's right, honey, getting them right together. Child, She's yes. been the creative director for such acts as Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Pink Diddy, and Nicki Minaj. Please welcome Lorianne Gibson. Yes! <laughs> yes, come on, Wallace! <laughs> Look at you! Oh, uh, boom, cat! Yes. You got my light into it. Hi! Hi. Hi. How are you, dear? Mwah. Mwah. Yes. And that's your Amazing. seat there. Oh, I love your house. house. Thank you. We have a nice so we home, don't we? Do for you. Yeah, we do. Oh, hi. We have a nice home, don't we, Lauren? Oh, it's so nice, I yes. must tell you. It's yes. multi, multi-tiered. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I made it to the sister circle. Yes. 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 God is good. Won't he do it? Yes, yes he, he will. Yes, 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 he will. Yes. Well, listen, Lori Ann, you have been known to be the artist of the artists, right? Yes, ma'am. With that being said, how do you connect so well with them? Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, obviously, glory to God for the gift that he gave me, because it definitely has a distinctive effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I do connect with the artist because I myself am an artist. And ultimately, iron sharpens iron. Everybody mm -hmm. needs inspiration. Everybody needs a coach. Yes. And that's particularly what's so different about my gift, mm -hmm. is it knows how to pull out of you the very idea of who you are and what you're called to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a special mm -hmm. gift, you know, yeah. one that has defined um, and collaborated with, obviously, today's hottest superstars. Oh, absolutely. Now, when did you know that you had this vision using dance to touch people along with <laughs> other choreographers? You know, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I just trusted, as a little girl, I wanted to be a dancer. Mm -hmm. You know, I was the girl with the towel on my head. You know what I mean? I was obsessed with Diana Ross. Yes. My mother says mm -hmm. I left huge marks on her stomach. I was obviously dancing in her <laughs> belly. <laughs> <laughs> that part. But I learned about my gift, mm -hmm. you know, very early. I think when I was a dancer and then I started dancing for Mary J. Blige mm -hmm. and Missy Elliott. And I started to see music. Mm -hmm. I would hear music and then I would see the full picture. Mm. Yes. And then I would meet an artist and they would tell me their vision and then I would see it. So you mm -hmm. visualize. Yes. And that's how you create. Okay. Yes. Well, you're a classically trained dancer as well as you dance in an Ivan, in, in an Ivan Ailey dance company. Yes. How did you make that transition to hip hop dance? Mm -hmm. Was well, that challenging? When I was 12, I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada, and I went to see Alvin Ailey at the O'Keeffe Center. And I remember looking up on the stage and seeing these powerful black mm -hmm. women just like changing the atmosphere, the way they dance. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing the stack up and I was like, what is that? I want to be that, I wanna wow. go there. So I finally saw myself on stage mm -hmm. and I got on a Greyhound bus at 17 and went to New York and then studied at Alvin Ailey, but realized when I went to a Heavy D audition and met Puff Daddy. Uh oh Yeah, that uh -oh, part. Diddy. That I didn't want to necessarily pursue concert dance, but that hip hop grabbed me. And there was wow. something about the freedom of it, the liberation that spoke mm -hmm. to my gift. Yeah. And that spoke to what I wanted to do. And, yeah. and speaking of Diddy, working with him, Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, Lady Gaga, I mean, you're so creative anyway. Yes, she but is. But what is your creation process? Because they're so different. So really? how do you approach each artist and, and give them something tailor-made for them? Mm, I think you the said it. They are different, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And um, that is why I think my brand is so specific. And when you watch Beyond the Spotlight, you see just that. Mm -hmm. Everybody's music is different. Mm -hmm. I listen to the way they breathe. Mm -hmm. I listen to wow. their message. I find out what the pocket is, how they want to change the world. Do they want to change the world? And that's what drives my creative. Wow. Is I can hear you, I can feel you guys. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, yeah. so I feel the rhythm, I feel Girl, the beat, I feel the music. To do my little dance. <laughs> that's <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, as we saw on the clip, Lorian, you, you tell it like it is. I mean, you're yeah, very yeah. serious. People, yeah, I like, think? We, we here at Sister <laughs> Circle like to call you intensely passionate mm -hmm. about your work. Ooh, that, is that a shade bomb? No. no. <laughs> that's, the, that's the clean duck. So, like, honey, yeah, that's yeah, a shade exactly. bomb. <laughs> no, but, but, well, but I don't apologize. No, you shouldn't. Right? And nor am I that moved by, you know, anything. I think passion is what perfects mm -hmm. the vision. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the passion, you don't have the desire to fight because 
what I did teach with Beyond the Spotlight and show you is it's not easy. Yes. Everyone's in like an Instagram. They want Insta fame. Mm -hmm. Y'all want Insta, Insta, Insta. But insta. greatness is not in the Insta. It's mm. in the process. Mm -hmm. well, message. And you have to have the passion to survive the no's. Mm. Quickly, how you do know? you handle the differences with, uh, with the artists that you work with when they don't agree with you or see your vision? Quickly. Uh, I believe that I'm the best. Therefore, I don't see the cup as half, half full. You, know, it's I'm not about disagreeing. It's about getting to the picture, getting to the original greatness. My well, God. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and we will continue this greatness in just a few minutes with Lorianne Gibson. We will talk more about her show, Beyond the Spotlight, on Lifetime. So stay with us. All right. My God. That was well said. Yes, huh? We are back with the incredibly talented Lorianne Gibson. Yes. Oh, my goodness. My, my, I love my. show. It's amazing. It's I want to, yes, ma'am. I just want to talk a little bit about, you know, like, your show that you have on Lifetime, Beyond the Spotlight, it's where we're actually going to get the opportunity to see you shape creatively, uh, people like Fantasia, P. Diddy, that, that whole process, we're gonna be privy to it. Yes, you come beyond the spotlight <laughs> and you come into a really special place where you see your artists have conversations that they can't have, mm -hmm. that are really intimate, and you see the process. It's really how you prepare for that moment yeah. that dictates the outcome. Yeah. And today, these kids and these amazing young artists, I want to inspire them that if it doesn't happen overnight, it's because it doesn't have to happen overnight, mm -hmm. you know? Mm. The process is where the magic happens. Yeah. You know, Lorian, I one of the things I love about you so much is your intense passion for yes, what you yes, do. Yes. And you meet some so many people in the industry that don't care, that just do things for a check. Which mm. is why they have probably created a show around you on Lifetime, executive produced by Mary J. Blige. What is it like to have a, your story shown and told for everyone? Well, I have actually two shows because yes, God know. is so good mm -hmm. that he said, if you can endure, then I will give you the overflow, right? Wow. So I have one show on Lifetime. Oh, this one's on Fox. Uh, right. Yes, I have my reality show on Lifetime, so one's on Lifetime. which goes beyond the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And it also goes home with me. Okay. So you see the sacrifices. Mm -hmm. You really get insight yes, into what networks. it takes. Yes. And then like two networks he said, at the same time. because okay. you have endured, <laughs> 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 then I have a scripted show on Fox that's uh, based on my life. Yeah. Yes. And obviously, I'm not on that, but it's scripted, right. mm -hmm. so actors, That's awesome. and yeah, you really see the journey. And the people tell me you have something to do with the four. Now, on top of that, <laughs> you're really busy. when you really endure, <laughs> and you faint not, and in due season, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got a second season on the Fox, and I serve as creative director, choreography, choreographer, and consulting producer, and obviously, with Sean Puff, Daddy Combs, we make magic, and we make it again on the four. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Lorianne. Yes. We love you down to the circle, girl. You're, you're, you're. Come back in time. Circle it up, And conversations always continue right at SisterCircleTV.com. Sister Circle TV. Sister Circle. Yes, we're dancing. Or Lori hey, Ann Gibson. Hey. But we're well, hey, 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 My new girl group. My new girl group. Yes. <laughs> Well, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We have asked lovely Lorianne Gibson to join us yes. for a little bit more in-depth conversation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, y'all took me out on, on the couch. Yes. And I right know you heard me in the back. Like, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, right up the alley. Yes. Right up the alley. It was it was fantastic. But Lorianne, as you sip on your water, <laughs> um, tell us why it's important for us to control our own images in the industry. I think control is maybe not the word I would use, but be responsible. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think because as, a little, as little girls are watching, they're going to judge themselves and insecurities run rapid. Mm -hmm. So if you just promote an Insta without any information, not everybody can uh, educate themselves properly mm -hmm. and protect yes. themselves. And especially in the entertainment business, there are so many factors, leech factors, there's mm. spirits, there's precept upon precept, there's mm -hmm, doors mm -hmm, that if mm -hmm. you're not careful when you walk through them, unfortunately, as young women, you can't always take back. Mm. Mm. Wow, 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 yeah. wow. That's good. That's a deep. So as yeah. a creative director, how has social media affected your job or the way that you approach your job? Your, how you're managing people like in reference to what you do? I think that's a great question because it's um, been a good thing, but it's also been a uh, thing that has held back true creativity. Oh, wow. See, when you can Google then you and you can pull an image and you're younger, then you're so quick to just 
mimic that image mm -hmm. versus when I couldn't find it, I had to find it inside of myself. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I had to hear a record and feel it in my spirit, in my soul, and see it with my own vision. So sometimes you have to put the phones down yes. and force yourself to find your own creativity yeah, right. and the confidence in your own choices. Mm. So that's why I did Beyond the Spotlight, mm -hmm. is to inspire the process, mm -hmm. yes. not Oh, they're doing that over there. Let me match it completely. Mm. Yeah. So are you finding a lot of replicas in reference to, oh, I know I've seen that somewhere. So some, Absolutely. Yeah. And then the thing is, because if it does well for someone, mm -hmm. they think that that's what everyone has yep, to right. do. Versus yep. I individualize, and that's how you win, you know? Mm. Come on. All of us can't sing the same song. Come on now. So we must sing our song in order to mm -hmm. uh, make the world a beautiful, a better place. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you know? just be creative and, yeah. and, and original. Right. I mean, look so at this table. We're all killing it because right. we're all yeah. individual yeah. selves. Yeah. And together, we create <laughs> one on Boom Tag. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. We're just going to have a moment. Right. So speaking of uh, individuality mm -hmm. and, and talent, really, uh, one of the things I come across all the time in this industry is that people don't really have to be talented mm -hmm. in order to come mm -hmm. up. So what is what is what are your views as far as that's concerned? Do you think that people re still really need talent or not? Nah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, I think that's why I did Beyond the Spotlight is because you need talent. It's a special gift mm -hmm. to get out there in front of the world and change the atmosphere and write a record that inspires the world. I'm mm -hmm. black and I'm proud to do a dance that can make you feel like you're a superhero. I think that, again, Insta fame is not necessarily talent. Yes. I believe you have a choice. Mm -hmm. I want to work with talented people. I took the road to build my craft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will say this, when I did take it and do it properly, you can't be moved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no challenge. There's just how you engage. Mm -hmm. I'm never intimidated in any room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just ignite my gift and do what I do. Come on, light mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's all right with me. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, in a, an environment where sex sells, do you... In a, I mean, we're, we're still it's in true. that environment. <laughs> 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 we keep it true. This is a real discussion. She wants to zip it up. So, does that sometime uh, flow into your um, creative, the creative ability when you are working with a person? Mm. Yes, I mean, you know, obviously I've had some art, like with Lady Gaga or Nicki Minaj, or, you know, I've been criticized for doing some things. But ultimately, I don't come from a sex sales place. For me, it's intention. How do mm. I move? When do I move? I'm never the person to say, take your clothes off, because that's going to get us a quicker mm -hmm. effect, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, that's just not me. But there's no judgment in it. But I'm also, yeah, it's a choice. you got to make it earlier on in your right. career. Yeah. And I unfortunately haven't sold myself and it has taken a little longer but it's just definitely a choice mm -hmm. i'm I, no i don't believe in yeah sex does sell but yeah. not in my my book not in your right. camp not in yours uh, have, uh, has there been anyone that you have been intimidated to work with when you walked mm. into the room you've been like oh who, 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 who was the girl who can what person us? was that it was michael jackson Jackson, oh, yeah. yes. well, come on, that's man. a good person. That's the cake. Yeah. So how Michael did it happen Jackson. for you? Yeah. Uh, Spike Lee was directing. They don't really care about us. I was mm -hmm. working with Brandy, and he called me, and he said, you have to do this video. And I flew to New York right away. And um, obviously, it was the jail, and the they don't really care about us. So it had a lot of political intent. So mm -hmm. very early, I knew that my voice would be... Um, to move culture. Mm. So I remember having the sweat marks of life oh. underneath my <laughs> It was so disgusting. And I remember the first time he said my name, I was like, he's talking to me. Girl, that I would have died. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just died. Dad right on the floor. Wow. He's the greatest. And, yeah. and so I think that's another reason why I'm so passionate yeah. to create a conversation that we need artists like that again. Yeah. Not yeah. him, yeah, but, but the level of, of, of entertainment. Mm -hmm. and the level of razzle-dazzle. Laurie, mm -hmm. how do you keep your energy up? How do you protect yourself mm -hmm. when you're giving so much to people yes, and we we'll see yes. how passionate you are? I think I'm in my calling, so God has prepared me. Mm -hmm. And so my gift operates as such, you know? Mm -hmm. He's prepared me for this journey. So I do say all glory to God, and he is truly the maker of my machine. Mm. Yes. And so he's prepared me to sustain without any drugs, without the need of alcohol. Mm. He's prepared me to sustain the long hours, mm -hmm. the hard work, mm -hmm. because ultimately, 
you will say how I do it, and I will say glory to God, and you Come will on. know yes. that it's real. Well, yeah, this good that note. is how you end a segment. Yes, yes. Do glory to Thanks. God. Yes. 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 <laughs> Beyond the Spotlight, please make sure you check out Lorianne Gibson yes. on Lifetime Beyond the Spotlight.